Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow. We are just, or the whatever day you watch this, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, then we're going to use that deck right there. This is just an energy that I'm picking up on for somebody. It may or may not be you. Sorry, I'm just going to put this on pause real quick. There you go. Receiving, you know, uh, receiving is is uh, actually a gift to the giver when you allow, when you when you allow yourself to receive, you are are giving back to the giver. You know, so this is also meaning this could also mean that you could be receiving something from somebody, but. This is also about allowing. It's about allowing yourself to receive. Okay? We're going to read that card at the end out of the book. Receiving. So it looks like somebody's going to be receiving something, right? Could be peace. I didn't say a piece, I said peace. The tower. Hip, hip, hooray. This is the tower. Ten of swords. Wonderful. Ain't that wonderful. Could be receiving a piece. I mean, we got the... Uh, I don't know if this is the page of wands or the knight of wands. Got a fire coming out of his nose. <laughs> Somebody's gonna snap. Okay? Somebody's gonna snap. Look at she's snapping the sword, so that ain't good, you know? Look at the swords, they're snapped, okay? Somebody may snap tomorrow. Um, something could come crashing down, okay? Because we got the tower. There could be some sort of rude awakening. There could be some sort of rude awakening. Could happen out of the blue. It could happen instantly, okay? Somebody, I mean, this is the four of pentacles reversed. It's like something is no longer secure, okay? It's things are about to fall, fall out. There's going to be a fallout tomorrow. Son of a bitch. There is going to be a fallout tomorrow. Something, there is something, there's going to be a fallout. Somebody's got fire coming out, of his, coming out of their nose, okay? So, this don't look good, okay? The first four cards, it looks like there's going to be some sort of, um, I don't know. Something ain't going to be good. I mean, if you take a look at the tower card, look at this shit. Okay, somebody's walking away. You know, there's people, you know getting their peace, you know, whatever, and this one's not happy, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. These people, they don't care who they hurt. Well, they're hurting somebody, and somebody's going to snap. I mean, I would certainly snap, so I would, and so it looks like there's good tea. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should just stay home tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you're giving somebody a gift by snapping or not, but we're going to find out. 
Anyhow, something, there's going to be a fallout. The shit's about to fall out, okay? Somebody's going to get really mad, you know, with the steam coming out of their nose. I mean, and uh, there's going to be a rude awakening. There's going to be a breakdown. There is. With the tower, the tower is some sort of uh, disruption, upheaval, uh, almost like a disaster, okay? And here we got the snap betrayal. I mean, the ten of swords. I mean, like it's a, I mean, it ain't. There's, be prepared. I mean, maybe you shouldn't just stay home tomorrow. Maybe that should be the case. Nine of Swords reverse. There's been a lot of um, anguish. There's been a lot of depression. There's been a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of tears that have been shed, right? There have been. They have been. And you get to the point where you just can't take it anymore. And you release. So, oh boy. So I'm not telling anybody to go flip out tomorrow or anything, but there could be a flip out session on the horizon. Okay, I'm not, I mean, I'm not here to scare anybody, but I sure as hell I'm not going to pretty it up because that's not who I am. Um, so yeah, I feel like somebody has been holding it in and holding it in and holding it in. And the time of holding it in is just about over. All right, so... You know, it's an emotional time. It's an emotional time right now. You know, and you think about Uranus and Taurus. You, if you've watched any of the other people's readings, if you've seen the astrology about earthquake. Okay, not, I'm not saying there's going to be an earthquake, but you know, it's like a quake. Okay, it's about a. Uh, <laughs> oh God, that's all I can say is you know, watch out. Because you think about a bull, you think about Taurus, the steam coming out of the nose. Okay. All right. Watch out. I just hope to God that I don't run into anybody I'm not supposed to. Anyway, um, something has been um, insurmountable for too long. God forbid the person on the other end. That's what it looks like to me because it doesn't look like it's going to be pretty. I think this person has walked away. She go, she, you know, whoever this person is that walked away, she's whatever from this very troublesome situation, this lie, this deception, this betrayal, you know, she walks and then she snaps and then she's just like, I, I can't take it anymore. So there could be a, there could be a, uh, Rude awakening on the horizon. The lovers. Imagine that. We have the lovers card. Whew. Now you have a choice to make. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can choose to give up on love. Or you can choose to go home. You can choose to go another route. What are you going to do? You can choose. I mean, this is a choice in love. The lovers card. You have to make a choice now. You can choose to go back to something or you can choose to go in a new direction you have a choice so we have somebody here that is going to have an unexpected choice as to which route that they want to take okay, I'll take a look at this card a little bit closer And she's even got a sword in her hand. She's got a sword in her hand. It's like she's been protecting herself. She's been protecting herself, you know. And it looks like, you know, she has to choose whether she wants to... Whether she wants to go home or not. So somebody may be choosing whether they want to go home or they want to go in a different direction. Whether they want to choose uh, a new life or they want to choose to go back. Definitely a choice here. Definitely a choice. In regards to a partnership. Now you're definitely going to have to choose whether you want to flip out or not. Um, the wheel. Oh boy, it's a fated change of course. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is karma. This is destiny. Okay, this is, a, this is a change, of course. There's a big, and with that tower card, we have fate involved. Fate with the wheel and tower, okay? We have a fated uh, course of events that is about to play out in the next day or two. 
okay? And whatever is happening is going to bring you to a better place. You are going to be forced with making some sort of choice to take action, you know? What action are you going to take? Are you going to flip out or are you going to go back out gracefully? I don't know about this. Um, the star reversed. There's lack of lack of hope. Lack of healing. Oh, shit. This person isn't completely healed. You see what's right underneath it? This person hasn't healed yet. Not happy at all with what the upheaval and disruption that has been caused. So it's a very emotional time right now. Okay? It is. And somebody is absolutely going to be in their emotions. They may go to bed at night and wake up in the morning. They may get have some dream or they may have some sort of a rude awakening, some sort of epiphany or some sort of, I don't know what. And all of a sudden they snap. They snap and there's like, I'm not happy with what happened. And they just go bonkers, go berserk. Okay. So, oh my God. This is the Page of Wands. So this this was the Knight of Wands. This is the Page of Wands. Now, this is this is supposed to be good news. I'm not sure it's going to be good news. I feel like this is a distraction. I feel like you're going to need to stay focused. Okay, really try to stay focused. Um, I think something that you started a long time ago is coming back to the surface. Okay, finally it's here to be dealt with. So... You know, you can only bury those feelings and those emotions for so long before they burst. So I really, and especially with that, with the with the Pisces new moon and all the emotions and the Taurus and Uranus. Oh my God. Somebody's emotions are going to get the best of them and there's going to be an uproar. And that's what we're looking at. <laughs> Oh, God. It's not funny. It's not. I'm thinking, I mean, I was planning on going out tomorrow, but um, I don't want to get myself into trouble. Um, three of Cups? Yeah, there's been a third party situation, huh? Three's a crowd. Now, this can also be having fun. Having fun. It looks like they're looking at a picture album. But that brings back a lot of memories when you look at picture albums. And it feels like uh, the memories. And this is emotions, okay? Memories are going to be on the table tomorrow. Son of a gun. So somebody's, somebody's going to just, I don't know what. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at the fire. It's like he's going he's gonna to stoke the fire there. He's going to stoke the fire and he's going to get some sort of vision, you know, that tells him he needs to go in this direction. Maybe he's going to act a little naively and the shit is going to hit the fan. Oh, God. Death is on the bottom. I don't think anybody's going to die, but this is an ending. Okay? It is. It's like, what is this? Like some sort of sacrifice or something? You see the butterfly. I don't know what is going on here. <sighs> All I can say, and I'm not going to keep going on this reading, but it appears to me that some some sort of mental turmoil, some sort of strife that somebody has come to or come through or been through is coming to an end. Something is coming to an end. There's going to be something that happens suddenly that, I mean, this is an end as well. I mean, we have an ending here. We do have an ending here. It's an ending of something that was very, very troublesome with the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Tower. I mean, the the Star card reversed. There's, there's like, there's no, 
there's nothing left. There's no there's nothing left. There's no faith. There's no hope. There's 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 no You can't it's like you can't even protect yourself from this. Um somebody's deciding to go in a different direction. Because it, I don't know, somebody's wanting to release the pain. Somebody's wanting to release the pain. And I think there's going to be some sort of definite upheaval. There's going to be some upheaval. I feel as though there's, there's, a, there's a major ending here. I mean, endings bring new beginnings. And that's what the tower does. The tower brings about a, a change that hurts. I mean, this it hurts. It hurts. It does hurt. So, you know, I feel like. I mean, I can't even, like, this is major, okay? It's a major, we have a major, major change here. This is a major, this is a major, this is a major, this is a major, this is a major. So we have some, a major shift, a major of, a major destined, fated event happening that is going to happen tomorrow. And it is going to, which it would be the 7th be the seventh it's not something that you can protect yourself from you can't you can't it's you can't protect yourself from it it's uh probably going to leave you feeling discouraged i think that somebody has been discouraged and that's why they're gonna snap they're gonna snap and they're gonna decide that it's it's time to go in a new direction and the only way to, to go in that new direction is to end this once and once and for all so I feel like we have a an ending here that is meant to happen and it's meant to happen at this time because it's time to begin again it's time to start over it's time for your rebirth it's time for your transformation it's time to let go of what no longer serves you it's time to let go of this pain it's time to let go of this of the guilt. It's time to let go of the rejection. It's time to let go of the regrets. It's time to be happy again. It's time to, you know, start that next chapter. And the only way to start that next chapter is to end the last one. And it might, the end, the last one might not end on the most positive note but it's going to lead you in a new direction towards a better match okay a better suitor okay because this is a better suitor and this is a better suitor so I feel like some of you are needing to complete a cycle because this is a cycle and this is too completing a cycle in your life but it feels like there's been some sort of inability to take action but I feel like with all the the energies that are in the air right now something is pushing you it's like fate is stepping in and it's like it's time I mean it's time I mean this is it's the, this is the end the death is it's the end it's when, when if you think about death it's it's over it's over it's over it's over it's over and more often than not I mean I'm gonna be real with you here death is painful I mean I'm being honest I think that we have a painful ending here where somebody is just going to snap and go in a new direction whether they actually communicate with another person or not I don't know somebody is just going to snap and go in a new direction They're going to choose a new path. Somebody's going to choose a new path. Sorry, I didn't bring that down sooner. I got all worked up. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's going to be, in the end, 
in the end it's going to be a a reason to celebrate it is going to be a re reason to celebrate because this ending that who, whoever whatever happens happens is going to lead you down a new path it's going to give you another option okay there's been a lack of healing in this circumstance and love heals so it's like as soon as this falls apart as soon as this falls out it leads you down that new path as soon as this snap happens as long as soon as this rude awakening whatever it is i mean the tower is a rude awakening it is a major upheaval brought to you courtesy of the universe and you cannot protect yourself from it it happens to change your life because you are not doing it so it feels like there's there's definitely going to be some sort of ending here okay the tower it, when if you think about the traditional tower cars the tower comes crashing down i'm telling you what something is going to crash down out of the blue and push somebody in a new direction and it's probably going to be painful so i don't know i'm not trying to scare anybody but i can't gonna I mean it is what it is right it is going to lead towards a more positive direction it is it definitely is but before you get there you have to deal with this completion you have to deal with it it's gonna allow you to release it's gonna you're gonna feel relief in the end it's gonna bring you relief Okay, it is going to bring you relief. You, this snap has to happen. This ending, this death has to happen, whatever it is, so that you, it's going to bring you relief. It's going to bring you relief. It really is. It, something is about to burst into your world that is better suited for you. But it happens after an uproar. That's that's Uranus and Taurus. That's an uproar. And that just happened today. I'm recording this on the 6th. For the next seven years. And with the Pisces new moon, all the emotions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Receiving. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. However, you sometimes forget this. You become swept up in the momentum of habitual consciousness, and you forget to take a moment to stop, breathe, and be. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. The universe is here, okay? The tower is a universe card. Universe going to help you to receive. Anyway. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. It will nourish you with contentment and energy. You have not done this enough. So your soul is becoming parched and is drying out. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. It is time to bring something back into you to receive and be received and you do deserve it and that's why this is happening you are being offered a chance for restoration now I can't make this shit up this is restoration to feel nourished cared for and loved accept it you deserve it the healing process below will help you surrender any guilt or shame you feel for having needs in the first place and somebody like i said guilt somebody has been holding on to their guilt release the guilt you do deserve it you deserve this new beginning you deserve to walk away from situations that were lies situations that hurt you you deserve to not be betrayed 
Do you know how much joy, and this is a card of joy, the universe gains from being able to give to you? When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift and are so happy with it, the universe is fully received by you. You need to look at this as a gift. This person who cheated you, this person who lied to you, this person who didn't see your worth, consider it a gift. Rejection is God's protection. In this space, there is joyful communion between you and the life. Energy flows more freely and magic happens. When you demur saying you cannot accept, that is too great a gift, or that you are not worthy, you are impeding that flow. You are inhibiting the communion, the connection, the playful interaction between you and the universe. Enough with the false modesty and guilt. You are a radiant sun in human clothing, an exquisite life experience in your birthright. Enjoy it. Soak it up, all of it, including the restoration of sacred rest. <coughs> From that place of nourishment, you will more effortlessly create, live, and love with greater energy and thriving, pulsing passion. The earth, or the earth, rests each night so that it can greet the sun again each morning with a spectacular living art of sunrise allow yourself to switch off step away <laughs> close the laptop switch off the phone just be with yourself for a little while rest now play now and work later forget your worries for a while switch off do something else. Let it all go. And it will all flow. The healing process says, I release all false guilt and shame about having needs and all false beliefs about rest being wasteful or unnecessary. I accept healthy, productive, sacred rest and the gifts of happiness that it brings. I understand that rest and activity, balance, feed and nourish each other. There is sacred healing that happens through rest, which is very powerful. I accept and receive this now through unconditionally through unconditional love. This is now so. Anyhow, I feel like there's an ending of a very painful situation here. Somebody is probably making a decision off the fly to head in a new direction because they know that their purpose is so much more than this. It's time. This is a card of free will and fate and destiny. With the help from the universe, it's like somebody is taking the power and making a drastic change to choose another path. There could be some upheaval. Okay? There could be some upheaval. So just be prepared that you know, if I was you, I would just be quiet and not, and, and you know, because somebody could snap. I mean, I'm serious. Um, some there's gonna be some there's. A, I mean, with that tower, that ten of swords, and 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 this, this is like a falling out and steam rolling out. I mean, just somebody could get so upset that. You never know what could happen. You know, everybody's circumstance is different, but that rejection was God's protection. That's the truth. 
Now you have an opportunity to, to receive a new love. You do. But it's your choice. This is a choice. Somebody that's much better suited for you, but it's your choice. Maybe you got to snap. Maybe you got to end something so that you can go down that right path. Somebody may be choosing to go home. I don't know who this reading is for, but be prepared for anything. Good luck.